welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a review for Manhattan by Candy Steiner for you. This book gets published today, December 18th. Surprise, because it was supposed to come out tomorrow, but Candy decided to give you Christmas a little early this year and had it get released today. This is the third book in the Becker's Brothers series. First we met um, Noah in On the Rocks when he fell in love with Ruby, a girl who was previously engaged to another man, but you know things happen. <laughs> then we had Neat, which um, follows Logan and his love for Mallory, even though their families hate each other. So Romeo and Juliet, anybody? Modern day. There we go. And Manhattan has the lovely friends to lovers romance that we all love and cherish. Mikey is a um, the youngest brother in the family. And he decides that he's going to move to New York because he needs to get away from this small town feeling. They live in Tennessee. They all work for this whiskey distillery. And they kind of, he just kind of feels like he needs his space. And he needs to kind of, like, get away um, after going through a very bad breakup. But there's Kylie, his best friend since they were eight years old. They bonded because his father passed away about a couple months before... Um, her mother passed away, or I can't remember the exact timeline, but their parents died around the same time. So they were kind of there for each other, and they've kind of been there for each other ever since. But Kylie hides a little secret that she's been in love with him since she was eight. And she does not want him to leave. She wants him for, to be with her. Um, so she find, kind of feels like this is her chance. This summer is the, her opportunity to convince him to stay and kind of finally tell him that she loves him. Candy Steiner writes in such a beautiful way that you really feel everything that those characters are feeling. When they feel the grief, you feel it with them. When they're happy, you feel it with them. When they're jealous, you feel it with them. When they're in love, oh, gets you. I was in tears by the end of this book. It was so well done. Um, this series just get, keeps getting better and better, and I really cannot wait for the last book, Old Fashioned, to come out in the spring. I don't want to speak too much about this because of the fact that it is a series. They can be read st as standalones, but I highly, highly, highly recommend going back to book one and reading book one first, and then Neat, and then um, Manhattan. There is a little mystery that's been also going on. So it is a romance, but there is a trickle of a little mystery that goes on with this family and the whiskey distillery that I am dying for the answers for. So it's nice because you have a small town feel. You have a different trope for each book. So your trope will be addressed at some point. Um, it deals with hard topics. It deals with high emotions and high stakes and I really really enjoy these books. They are available obviously in paperback. They are available as a Kindle and you can also get it as Kindle Unlimited. So if you are ready to take the plunge and try a Candy Steiner book, please go check her out. She's amazing. You will not be disappointed. I have clearly have like an entire where is she? Where I'm right in front of it. Entire bookcase just dedicated to her alone. So if you've been thinking about trying Candy Steiner, the series I feel like has it all for everybody. So you need to go check her out like ASAP. Got it? So um, I will leave a link to Manhattan where you could purchase it down below and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you've read this series. Please let me know if you um, are intrigued by the series down below and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye, everybody.